Clearly, obviously, we, we've set our sights now at getting back into the third division as quickly as we can, uh, and we'll try to leave as good impression on the confidence that we can as well. We haven't changed anything. We've continued full time. Um, we've added to the squad uh, from where we were last season. We've continued with our youth policy. We've done everything exactly the same as we did as if we are. And we intend to carry that out. Absolutely brilliant and so reassuring as the fans actually. We've sold more season tickets this year and the, the gate for the Shropshire Senior Cup was the largest gate that's ever been. So if that continues and we can give the fans what they want, a successful team on the pitch, I think our fan base will increase. To say. I mean, you can't ask any more than play nine and win nine. And long, let's just hope it continues. That would be great for the fans and for the people of Shrewsbury. Looking on the pre-season results, we've not lost a game, so um, for us, it's about carrying that form on into the league and hopefully uh, get back into the na nationwide third division. Um, everything's run really well. Um, you know, although we're in the, the nationwide conference, um, it is it is run like a professional football club, and that, that's good, obviously, for your mental state, um, knowing that everything's run um, properly. I had a few inquiries and a few offers from league clubs, but having spoke to the manager um, and to my family. Um, being based in, in Warsaw, um, it was ideal for me to, you know, not to commute up and down motorways. Um, and it was ideal for me to go to a club where they've got ambition um, and they want to prove something this season. Um, so I think last season was a fluke according to the lads. So they want to prove something to themselves and to the, the people of Shrewsbury that you know, they don't deserve to be in the conference. Um, they want to be in the third division and onwards. At the end of the day, um, you know, your, your league position doesn't lie um, and they're not being good enough to, to sustain um, professional third division football. Now it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, we've turned the corner, and we've, we've turned the page and it's a new, new fresh outlook on the Shrewsbury Town Football Club and that's good for, for myself and everybody concerned. You've, uh, you've brought some decent lads in and, and nice lads as well, uh, which is important. You've, you've got to uh, do your homework when you're signing players and, and I've made sure that uh, the lads that are brought in aren't uh, the type of lads going to come and disrupt anything. They, they, they get along together and just, uh, we've spoke about the importance of having a, a good team spirit. I think that's worth a lot of points in the season if you've got a good dressing room and, and as you can see there's a good spirit and I mean it goes hand in hand with uh, with one of the games and uh, we've done ever so well over the pre-season period but now it's down to down to the real stuff on Saturday uh, but uh, we have got a good bunch of lads and I'm quite sure we'll do well. Reality tells you it's a conference club you know because we're in the conference but uh, this club's geared up for, for you know for, for success and, and, and playing at a higher level. Uh, it's my job along with the players and, and everyone connected to hopefully get them back into the league and, and where we belong. But uh, nobody's got the god game right to, to win any game or, or win any league. And, uh, it's about rolling the sleeves up and getting down to hard work. The lads have worked extremely hard over pre-season uh, and we spoke about the importance of uh, getting the fitness levels right and uh, mixing it up with the, the mental side of the game, which I, I feel is a big part. Uh, and, and hopefully come April the 26th uh, next year we'll be in the right position. I, I've managed in the league before, I'm very ambitious, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fully qualified as a, as a coach and uh, I was part-time at Northwich and, and no disrespect to Northwich but a lot of the uh, coaching methods that I have learned I wasn't able to use because of only having the lads for sometimes a day, two days a week. Uh, and, and I'm really looking forward to that and I'm enjoying my time here and uh, I'm quite sure with the, the players and, and the also the players I've inherited from last year that will do well. 
win quite well, You can't afford to become complacent in football, no matter uh, how many games you win. And that's that's my job, to keep these lads focused. You know, it's uh, it's about working hard. I'm not going to take my eye off the ball when we're winning and doing well. We're still working hard uh, to try and get a bit fitter, a bit quicker, and uh, uh, to keep things uh, ticking along. Uh, I think the, the worst thing you can do is when you win games is to relax and... Uh, and, and think that uh, you, you've got this game beat because if you think that uh, it always turns around and kicks you in the teeth. So it's about remaining focused, and uh, you know we've got a lot of people that we're, we're responsible for, the fans and, and the board and everything else that uh, want success. And, and I've got to keep these lads fit. And uh, you know it is going to be a long season. We will have our ups and downs, but uh, over, overall, uh, I'm hopeful that uh, we'll do well. I just want to get into the season and just keep doing exactly what I've been doing for the last three seasons, scoring goals and just getting the club into a better position. We've got a lot better, um, this is the best team I've played with since I've been here. We've got uh, some good players here, good young fit players and uh, there's no reason why we can't just bounce straight up. I do it myself, mate. it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, everyone, I've, I've watched games, I've sat and watched the uh, a lot of videos and all it is is just it, it's more closing down everyone's booting it well, it's just more of a fight game to be honest but you do get you, you, there's loads of good teams in there and it's just well, I'm hopefully uh, I hopefully want to be at the top of that league to be honest and get straight out of there. What sort of attitude has Jimmy brought to the club do you think it's a bit positive more... positive just part, everything positive to be honest is he quite laid back has he got what's his style like he's laid back at the moment yeah but it's the same with all gaffers, wait till they start losing games and then you'll see the true side of him. So I haven't really seen the true side of him, but he's, uh, what I've known him, what I've uh, known of him, he seems a really nice fella. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, this probably sort of April, May time, uh, hopefully you'll be, you'll be celebrating uh, promotion back to the, uh, the Football League. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, we'll have to wait and see that.
and let's go. Keeping in the flight, Lancaster and Dirk in there. Dwayne Darby cuts, steps back inside. Colin Cram with a finish. And just as I say that, Colin Cram has scored his second in two games and this season campaigner has put the screws that visiting fans who make up most of this world under credit tonight. He's put them in front. Just yeah, try and run down the clock. And they deserve two. That's a, that's a good ball. Here's Rogers. Rogers doesn't make it. Street equalises. And they really do not deserve that. Durkin. Durkin was another foul side. Durkin denied Rogers. And can you believe it? It's the other substitute. The one who we weren't talking about. Kevin Street. Who stunned.
flick, looking for low. He's round behind McKinney. And it's not a bad effort, and it's not a bad effort at all. It's 1-0. Well, he sneaked in behind the Morecambe defence there. And Ryan Lowe has given the Shrews the lead. Jake Sedgmore will face Craig Mawson. Copy steps. In it goes. 2-1 Shrewsbury. Neatly dispatched by Sedgmore. Solid header from Murphy. Here's Moss the skipper again. Good exemplary driving forward. Continues his run. Edwards. Danger for Morecambe. Jimmy Quinn on the left. Good save. Quinn again. 3-2. Excellent finish from the manager. And Craig Mawson, disconsolate. Charged down the first effort from Quinn.
Many congratulations after Stoke City you go for the final, but can you honestly say you enjoyed that? Uh, I did on the last penalty one, and certainly, um, yeah, it's a very tense affair today uh, for both sets of uh, players, you know, there's no doubt about that. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm just pleased we got through it. That we, we've uh, at the end of the game, we probably had four or five players with uh, the box, and, and all credits have been stuck at it. You can see the delight on the players' face after. After the game, they were meant to, 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 to get through. It's, it's probably a cruel way to go out of a tie, to lose on penalties. But uh, we practiced penalties for, for for a good hour yesterday, and uh, that went well. And we've seen that today. And, and obviously, Scott's won the tie for us because he's made the save, to set up the, uh, the final goal from from Darren Moss. So uh, I'm just delighted we've got through. But it was a very tense affair. Over the two games, do you think you're full value for coming out on top? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we, we, we should have won the game today, 1-0, and that should have been enough to get through the tie. We got a sloppy goal all the way down there, to be honest with you. And that's what we worked on. We worked on uh, you know, making sure that when the ball was playing, that we're tuned in and reactions are right. And we've done that too. And I thought the, the, the whole team defended very, very well today and uh, kept a clean sheet. Just, uh, it would have been nice to, to get the second goal, which would have won the, the tie in the 90 minutes, but it wasn't to come. And I thought that uh, the, the two parts of the uh, extra time were, you, you know, both, you could see both sides didn't want to concede, didn't want to push too many men forward and, and uh, it went to pens, but I'm just delighted we've got through. Considering Darren Tinson and Trevor Challis were rated doubtful ahead of kick-off, how immense were they as a pair? 
Well, you can see that today, and you can see how much we missed the two of them when they went off with Barnet. And uh, you know, all credit. I mean, Darren still feels his leg now, and he carried on. Uh, and Trevor's had an injection before the game. Uh, in his foot, and, and all credit to lads, they've done absolutely magnificent for the club today. Uh, and, and you know, with their help, we've got through the tie, and, and which is set up. Uh, you know, let's hope it's a, it's a lovely day at Stoke City. You know, we've got a great chance of getting back into the league, and but so have all the shot at the time. Darren Moss, uh, so unfortunate hero today, keeping his call to take uh, the vital penalty, but now facing heartache. Is he inconsolable? Yes, he's. Uh, he, he doesn't know yet. To be honest, with you. I haven't told him. I didn't want to tell him before the game in case it affected him in any way. And, but the uh, appeals failed to get to Brevis suspension over two. Yes, it, it, he, he is suspended and he, he will miss the final. Which, which uh, I'm devastated for, for Darren because he's been without shadow doubt one of our best players all season. Uh, the referee said in his report that uh, he went in on a two foot attack. We've seen the video, he's went in with one leg, uh, we've sent it off, it's come back and it appeals failed. So it, it, it just defies belief, it just, uh, there's, no, uh, there's no second appeal or anything, so we try to get a personal hearing, uh, there was no follow up to it, so I'm absolutely upset for, for the lad. It is Aldershot Town then, you haven't beaten them in, in the two conference games, can you make a third time lucky do you feel? Of course, uh, there's no doubt about that, uh, we should have beaten them out of their place early in the season, we were a better team with the better chances. Uh, and they, they came here and they, and they beat us here, uh, we did field an the strength team at the time, I don't know whether you, you remember, but uh, there were two or three players uh, you know, injured and uh, you know, Martin played that night, he was, uh, he was injured as well. So uh, it's, uh, it's gives, gives us a bit of time between now and the, and the 16th to clear up one or two knocks that we've got. But Make uh, you, you can rest assured that uh, our lads are definitely good for that. I think uh, Stoke City can prepare for another Salopian invasion. What, uh, 12, well, 13,000? I was sent to the lads out there. I went to the final last year, and without a shadow of doubt, the uh, support that Doncaster brought to the final was a major factor in them getting through the tie. And, and uh, our fans this season have totally amazed me, both home and away. I have to say that, being, being in the conference. I know that we're an ex league club and whatever, but the fans have been absolutely superb and I'd hate to think how many we want to take down to Stoke but it's not too far away I think uh, they'll have to shut down Shrewsbury for the day when uh, they play in Stoke but uh, I'm, I'm delighted for the fans you know we've given them something back we've had a couple of uh, games this season the Telford game and the league and the cup which uh, was heartache for everybody and, and I'm just delighted that we give the, the fans something to cheer about tonight. You were all given a wonderful ovation when you reappeared in the director's box uh, 10 minutes or so after the game. Was that emotional? Well, well it is emotional. I, I've been fortunate in my career to, to experience that a few times and uh, it just amazes you how people feel about the club and the, and the love of their job for, for the club and, and uh, it doesn't matter how you do it Stuart, if you win games people support you, people come out. And, and uh, we, we had Ryan Lowe crying in the in the change room. The, the, the occasion got to him today, and uh, it's lovely to see that it means that much to people. And uh, you know, it's all, all credit to the fans again. I just thought we'd give them something back. We've got the players up in the stand there to give them a clap. And uh, I don't know how many we had. I think there was people locked out today. I think it was nearly 9,000, whatever. And it's, uh, it's just fantastic support. We're not there yet, but uh, we're not far away. And, and with the support of the fans, I don't know, hopefully we'll get there. What now then, Jim? A day off for the lads tomorrow and then back in, keep them ticking over? Yes, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be off tomorrow. They're, they're in a deserved rest and uh, we'll, we'll be back in on Wednesday. Have a look, have a count of the bodies, and see who's walking and who isn't. And uh, but we've got we've got a bit of time now to prepare and organise and, and make sure that we get a spot on for the, for the final. Shrewsbury, everybody must be very excited about it. Uh, it's fantastic, 12,500 people come to support us, it? and I believe we're still selling tickets so right up until tomorrow lunchtime, so it's, uh, uh, it doesn't surprise me, we've had it all seen, we've had great support, and, and I'm sure it'll, uh, it'll help us get a, get a good result going in Stoke. Do you think you'll start the game as favourites? You probably will, won't you? Well, uh, you, people will probably make us favourites, but uh, it'll have no bearing on it. I think it's two teams that uh, both sets of uh, camps will feel that, that they've got a chance to get back in the, into the third division. 
bowler shot have been out there for quite some time, and of course we were in it last year. Um, but it's, it'll be, it'll be uh, tight to start with. It'll be. Uh, I expect both sets of players to, you know, um, you know, be very enthusiastic about the jobs, and, and, what, and it won't, it'll take it a while to settle down. But uh, it, you know, we, we've talked about everything this week. We're discipline about uh, making sure that we don't get anybody sent off, and uh, making sure we're coping with every eventuality. And, it's going to be the same for all the shots. Going to be, hopefully, it'll be a good game. It's a good surface down there. And it'll be. It's a terrific stadium to play a game of football. Are you dreading penalties? It may come to that. Well, you always are. Not not so much for myself, but for, for players that are taking them because you you know you've got to walk off in the halfway line. If you, if you do miss it, it's uh, you feel like digging a hole and jumping in it, and, and, you, and you do feel particularly if it's going to cost the the team. Uh, you know, place in the third place. Uh, hopefully, you know, it'll be settled within 90 minutes, but uh, if it has to go the extra time and penalties, uh, you know, we'll have to cater for that as well. I mean, uh, over the season, you, you've worked so hard, and it, it all comes down to, to, to 90 minutes, and I guess the players have to approach it in a sense like any other game, don't they? Yes, it's just a, it's an, a game of football, it's another game that uh, we're trying to win. And uh, we've won quite a few games this season, so the lads are used to winning. Uh, it was much the same, the, you know, the second league against Barnet. It was a case of us just going out and, and winning the game of football to give ourselves a chance. And, and we've done exactly that. Uh, we scored one goal, we should have scored a couple more. Their keeper on the day was inspired and made some good saves. But uh, it's the same on, on Sunday. But it's, uh, it's not, not particularly what happens in the first 20 minutes or even the first half. It's uh, the team that shows composure for the 90 minutes. And, you know, if and when you, you get chances, it's about taking them in these big games. And I'm quite sure that we've got players capable of uh, doing that. Final question, what will it mean? You've seen some of the uh, excitement already. What will it mean to this town if you do go back this time? Oh, well, we, we'll all have a great summer, I can tell you that. I mean, the, the disappointment and the sadness of, of going down last year was, was, has been evident all season. And, and you can see that people are desperate to, to get the club back into the league. Uh, as I am, and the players are, and, and, and you know, it won't be for the one to try on Sunday. We'll give it a very best shot, and you know, we'll try and do it for the fans because they've stuck by us all season, and uh, there'll be nobody more delighted than myself and the players if, if we do that. And, and as I said, it will make a difference between having a, a good summer than uh, having a bad one. Thanks, You've seen a few things. How do you, uh, what do you sense is the mood here? Yeah, yeah. The mood's good. Um, training's been really lively and buzzing, um, and I sense that you know, the lads know. What it means um, for the Val Town on, on come Sunday. You fancy your chances, then? You've got to, I suppose. Yeah, I think we've we've earned the right to be here. It's not been down to luck that we're here. We've earned the right throughout this this season. I think generally um, our play's been quite good, and um, that's why we're in this position. Um, I have a semi-final against Bar Bar Barnet. I thought we performed very well other two games. Um, we did a professional job, and obviously we did that on Sunday. What do you know to all this shot? I think for the first time, Martin, they've got a full squad to choose from, haven't they? Yeah. To be fair, if I'm honest, I don't think it's about who we're playing, I think it's about what, we're, what we do on the day. Um, we've got some good players on our side. Um, no disrespect to all the shot, they're a good team, else they wouldn't be where they are. But um, I think because we're full-time, we have got some players who have been about, as you said. Um, I think we've got the edge. It all comes down to one game again, though. I mean, you've experienced that kind of pressure before, obviously, but a whole season condensed into 90 minutes, is that fair? Um, if I'm honest, no, I don't think it is, because um, obviously Everford um, have, been, have had a great season and not got to this stage, so it's, uh, from their point of view it's, it's unfair, but from ours, you know, if, it, if the start of the season you just said we'd make the playoff final, then I think we'd have, we'd have accepted that, and um, now it's about, as you say, yeah. 90 minutes and yeah. helping to get the club bouncing back straight after the relegation season last season. To all intents and purposes, this place is still a league club anyway, isn't it? I mean, it pretty much looks that way. Yeah, the, the setup's really good um, for a conference side, um, and obviously the, the fans have been superb this season. Um, they've you know, followed us home and away, and I think it's down to them that we're in the position we're in now. So, um, you know, a big thank you goes out to the fans. But um, on, on Sunday, it's all about the 11 players well, and, and, and the 16 who, uh, who take the, the Shrewsbury shirt on and hopefully do a job for them. Is it a question of who freezes on the day and who doesn't? Britannia Stadium, big stage, and all that? Yeah, I think you have to accept the, the occasion uh, and take it on its merits. But then again, it's a game of football, and you know, most footballers will tell you, and the whistle goes, you know, they forget who's, how many people are watching them. So, hopefully, we can. Um, adapt to the surroundings and the occasion better than all the show. Uh, everyone's buzzing around. Um, you know, a lot of us feel nervous. As, you know, a lot. So uh, we've got to look to the experienced players in the team, i.e. Martin O'Connor, Joanne Derby. You know, so they're all bringing us down to earth, and uh, I think everyone just can't wait to get there Sunday. What do you know to the opposition? Uh, I've played with a few of the lads. Uh, they've got good players in the side. Uh, probably the best player for me is Adam Miller, a really good midfield player. 
And, uh, you know, apart from him, you know, there's just nothing what we should fear. What do you think the deciding factors will be? We talked about the stadium and all that. Does that come into it? Uh, well, yeah, it does. Obviously, it's a big game for it, all of us. It's playing in front of 25,000. You know, it's, it's going to be a massive game for us. But, you know, equally, it's going to be a massive game for them as well. So, you know, it should, you know, it's just on the day. Whoever plays the best, there's, you know, foreigners can just go up and down. And to be honest, I think on the day, I think we'll beat them. Bearing in mind what you guys went through last year, what does it mean to you to get back? Uh, well, well, as I said, I was in the side that got relegated. So I want to be in the side that gets promoted straight back up. You know, it'd be a great achievement. And uh, you know, if we could do that, it'd be great for the fans, great for the club, and obviously great for the players. You sense walking around the town that people are excited in the game. Yeah, they, they don't take it lightly, do they? They like the stuff, they like the football down here. Cool. Everyone's buzzing about it. Like I've been walking up town, and pe you know, people in cake shops have been coming up to make sure you win. You know, everyone's coming out the closet for this game, and uh, you know, I just can't. It's just going to be a. Barnet was a massive game, so I can't. I'm dread to think what this is going to be like. Now tell me about this trip to Magaluf, because Martin O'Connor's a bit cagey about it. <laughs> there's, um, there's the whole football team are going to Magaluf, but Martin ain't coming unless we win. Nor Dart, nor is Dwayne Darby. So if we need to win to get them to uh, family men with us. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'll see you soon. winning the match 3-1 and that's it promotion division 3 here we come
goals scored in the penalty shootout against Hereford at Edgar Street in the semi-final. So disappointed not to start this promotion final. Can he hold his nerve now against Scott Howey? Sills with the opportunity to make it 1-0. No, Howey decided very early and decided the right way. Well, I think he's unlucky here, Tim Sills. He's, he's, he's died the right way, Scott Howey, but the law says you must stay on your line. Scott Howey, a good two yards off his line. And the assistant referee keeps his flag down. Jamie Tolley, who could have won it in normal time for Shrewsbury. A great chance he had in the 88th minute, which he couldn't take. Now the 21-year-old must hold his nerve. Jamie Tolley does hold his nerve, relegated from the Football League 12 months ago. But advantage with Shrewsbury. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> what can you say? What can you say? It's absolutely brilliant day for the club. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, compared to 94, obviously it's a different ground, but obviously, you know, it's the same sort of, it's brilliant, it's just a brilliant occasion for the club, totally brilliant.
said we go up, and that's all that mattered. Congratulations, you made uh, a lot of Salopians very, very happy, and you made yourself pretty happy too, I guess. I did, and, and you know, I was very emotionless uh, when the penalties were taken because I didn't want to. It's very hard to show emotions, you know, if you, when they, they missed a couple of penalties because you, you, you feel for our lads going up, but if they'd have missed, you know, it was about the square one, but uh, I just kept calm. I, you know, I, I can't ask any more of the players. I, you know, I have uh, been a hard taskmaster to be honest with you this season and, and but they've stuck with it, we've had a belief. Uh, we we've been under a lot of pressure because expectations are high and that's that's something I've always been able to handle as a as a player and a manager. But we've got some young lads in the team and all credit to every one of them today have gone out and give it their all. It wasn't pretty at times, uh, they, they never are these games but uh, uh, I'm just delighted for everybody and particularly the fans because uh, right back uh, I can remember uh, to the open day pre-season uh, you know, talking to the fans and you know how they felt about going down I knew that uh, they were absolutely devastated and it's, it's lovely uh, to be able to give something back to people. Hand on heart when Luke Rogers stepped up and almost put that first penalty out of the Stoke City ground did you fear the worst? Well, I felt for, for, for Luke, but uh, what I can tell you is that we, we studied the video of uh, Aldershot and Hereford, the penalties, and Big Scott took the video home, and he studied that for a week, and he knew, and he had an idea, that, you know, where the last one to put the penalties, and we just told him to not go too early and make sure that he times it right, and, uh, uh, you know, he's got to stay in the tie, and, and that's preparation. We, we prepared for, for two hours of football and penalties today, uh, and we did have a couple of knocks, you know, Big Darren had to come off, he's been... With a shadow doubt, our best player all season, and uh, one or two lads had a bit. Louis had a bit of cramp, uh, but it was a. It's not that the lads are unfit or anything. It's 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 the it's the hype and the expectations and the uh, the nerves that uh, they caught up one or two. But we stuck at it, and, and I'm delighted for them them boys in there because it's uh, it has been a long hard season. Historically, there have been a few disparaging comments down the years about. Scottish goalkeepers, but this fella's got Harry something. Well, he's changed all that today, hasn't he? And he, and he certainly changed it in the, uh, uh, you know, the semi-final as well, where he's, he's made the save that uh, that's got us through. And and, and uh, just on that, I am absolutely delighted as I can be for for Darren Moss today, because uh, to sit and watch that, where he's suspended and he can't influence the game, and, and uh, you know, he may, he may be feeling if only I was playing and, and whatever. And, and I'm delighted that we got through. And, and I said to lads, let's uh, give out a best shot for Mossy. He, he's, he's a terrific lad, and uh, he's a lad that, uh, as long as I'm manager here, he'll always be here. Uh, and I'm, I'm delighted for him. Strappy game in many ways, wasn't it? It was, and, and that's the pressure. Uh, there's not too. <coughs> I was very fortunate, or unfortunate, whichever way you want to look at it, Stuart, in the in the in the final at Wembley with uh, with Bolton. It was a fantastic game of football, and for, for such a big occasion, the football we played in the first half. I mean, you'll have to watch the video. Uh, we played some stuff, and, and considering that uh, there was there was that much at stake and, and the nerves and everything else, uh, uh, it was a delight to watch. But obviously, we lost, and uh, it's all about winning. It, 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 football doesn't matter how you win, which way you play. It's about getting points on the board and getting through games like we did today, and that's what keeps people happy. There'll be great celebrations in Shropshire tonight, of course. Yeah. What do you have planned yourself? Well, I, I, I will. Uh, I will be having a few beers, make no mistake, and, and, and celebrating with, with Emma, who I'm due to marry in the summer, as you know, and uh, I can't wait to see her. Um, and uh, I think I'm going for something with, with her and the family, and uh, I'm just looking forward to that because it's, uh, it, it's nice when, when people close to you stick by you and have a belief in you, because even when you're a manager, uh, you need people patting you on the back now and again. Uh, but, uh, I'm, I'm delighted for everybody, my, my family, my relations that were here today, and uh, all the people that support us right from, from day one when I come into the club. It's going to be a great summer now, isn't it? All round, looking forward oh, it's to fantastic. being back in the day. You know, there's a, there's a bit of work to be done still. You know, um, we've got to you know, prepare for pre-season, and uh, I will uh, be straight on to, on to work tomorrow um, to try and get... Uh, one or two players and I just I just feel we've got the nucleus of a decent side and when we get three or four players and with a little bit more quality uh, we will we will do okay.
Well, great stuff, Jim. Well done. Congratulations. And I'll see you next Thursday, sure.
What a team. What a story. But then, there's no point in being a fan if the team doesn't exist. So, a real round of applause for the team! But right back at the start of the season, I was fully aware of the magnificent support uh, of this football club, and that was one of the reasons that uh, I signed for the club. But it's um, it's been a magnificent team effort, and in the team, I mean, right from the board, the top of the board, the chairman, Roland Witchley, and the three guys. Uh, sorry, uh, Malcolm and uh, Keith have given me the support all season to get the results the magnificent team that we've had on the field <laughs> Scott Howey, those magnificent saves in the final <laughs> and that great penalty missed by Luke <laughs> it nearly gave me a heart attack <laughs> But he was magnificent, he scored some fantastic goals, very, very important goals leading up to the final. It was a bit unfortunate, but the other guys done the business. Delighted for the players, it's been a magnificent effort. Thank you very much for your support, and we'll do our very best for you next season. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I think it's a very emotional day. If, if you were with us on Sunday, I don't think I've ever, ever reached such a gambit of emotions. But firstly, I'd like to thank Jimmy, Jimmy Quinn, and a massive thank you to him and the fabulous team that we, that we have here. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy, for getting us back into the third division. But secondly, and most importantly, a massive, massive thank you for the support that we've received. You, you have been unbelievable. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, have a really, really good summer, and we'll look forward to seeing you next season at the Game Meadow in the third division. The support this season just proves that Shrewsbury and Shropshire won a football league club. And they've got one. We're back in the league. Massive thank you to the support. And on your behalf, I'm the fan Jimmy Quinn and our fabulous team. A big, big thank you. It's one of the best days I think that I've had, particularly following on from last year. It's been really fantastic. Looking at the support for the people of Shrewsbury, about nine o'clock I woke up and thought, I wonder if it'll just be us on the coach. But to see that turnout is absolutely magnificent. Delighted.
And uh, what's next for the team then? How do you well, see your future? Well, we're going to have a holiday now. And we'll come back into uh, summer knowing that we're in the third division. We have a new stadium that hopefully is a 10,000 all-seater that I hope we'll be celebrating third division football in about 18 months' time uh, in the new stadium. So this is giving you a real boost for it. It's, it's fantastic. Not just for us, it's for Jimmy and the, the team he's put together. For the fans who have been, they've been magnificent. I, we've increased our fan base by 20% and, and reducing into the conference and I think that's a magnificent tribute to the people of Shrewsbury. What's it been like today for you? Well, it's, I've been fortunate that uh, this is my third Civic reception, uh, both as a player and a manager. Uh, a fantastic day. Uh, you know, it's just a, a reward for the, the people that support you all season to come out and, and show their, 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 their gratitude you know, for us and also getting promotion. And uh, just to see the, the faces that, you know, I remember you know, as far back as last pre-season and the disappointment I've seen in people's faces having, you know, got relegated and they were all, you know, encouraging me, telling me that, uh, you know, to try and do our best to get back into the Football League and we've done that and, you know, with, with the help of the players and, and the support of the, the chairman and the board, we've managed to do it and it's a great feeling, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot, uh, lot more lows in football than there are highs and certainly when you get the highs you've got to enjoy them and, and this is uh, part of what's happened today. It's been a long, uh, long and tough journey for you, hasn't it? It has. It's been very tough because there's been a hell of a lot of pressure on the team and, and the club. You know, we're a big club, a uh, very well supported club, and uh, and whilst we we have had a bit of money to spend and we've had good support, it's no guarantee of success. Uh, and to you know to keep believing in what you're trying to do through adversity at times because we, we've had to go to some very very tough places this season and we're playing teams and players that have got nothing to lose and that's always a big danger. But uh, all credit to the players uh, and, and my staff, everybody concerned that we, we've managed to get the right results and enough results to, to obviously get us promotion, which was highlighted last Sunday when we won the playoff final. Excellent. It's been a week now and the fans are still out cheering, so uh, it's brilliant and uh, hopefully they'll stick by us next season. And what did it feel like? Uh, well, that goal yeah, it was fantastic. As soon as you hit it, it, it the ball at the back of the net, uh, it's a massive relief off your shoulders. And uh, to do it with all the fans, uh, I think there was 13 or thousand there, so uh, it was brilliant. And uh, we, we still can't get over it now, so it's just fantastic. Okay, so they're calling you the legend, the guy that saved the three penalties. I mean, every time that the ball got hit, what was going through? I don't know, you've you, all got a job to do you know, last Sunday and you know, the lads worked half for 90 minutes and then another 30 of extra time and, and um, I'm just lucky that I was in a position to um, to still have my job to do and still have you know, some kind of positive outcome in the game and unfortunately it all worked out. It's a huge relief though. Oh, it's a great relief, it's, it's a fantastic uh, relief and it's a great feeling to, to get into the third division because I know it's league football as well. And it's been quite a long journey for you guys. Yeah, I mean, over the course of a season, you know, you've, you've got to go to some, uh, some maybe not so nice places on a cold, you know, on Tuesday night in November, and, and it's all worth it, you know, in, in, in a, week, a week in the season, the sun's out, and I mean, there's a people in the streets now thanking us, and it, it's just a fantastic feeling. Great. Thank you.